come check out three great products for keeping the bookwork to a minimum in your tabletop games. I can bitch. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear. And today we're taking a look at three pretty neat little products. Hadn't seen anything like, well, sort of like this, but I've personally <laughs> can attest to some of these working really well. Uh, the great idea is our buddies over at Fear This Customs sent these to us. They wanted to help promote their line of accessory tokens for the tabletop. And I was like, yeah, these seem pretty cool. We'll talk about them because I've had this problem. You know, when you lay down a, a wound die, because we all know in 8th edition 40K and even Age of Sigmar, keeping track of wounds is a thing. You got you got monsters with all these wounds. You got tanks with all these wounds. And you put down a die next to the damn tank. And even if it's the right number on a D20, you move the tank, you move the die, the die falls over. And you're like, oh, crap, how many wounds did I have on it, right? You can't keep track of all that stuff in your head with all your units. So... While, or you, you roll and you pick up the dies next to it as you're rolling and, and this has happened and I'm sure it's happened to you and you're like Ugh. and then you feel bad your opponent feels bad and you're like all right whatever you know like try to make the best of it but these these products are pretty cool also keeping track of wound counters is or excuse me command points is another big deal and victory points for your games as well so we're going to take a look at first off these packs of wound counters now these are resin casted wound counters they come 10 to a package they're 15 dollars. you get six of the big ones and the big ones fit a bunch of different size dice of course they fit the normal d6s the small ones and the big ones 12 millimeter 16 millimeter right d12s because let's face it there's some big stuff out there so d6s are great for your for your characters then you go up to the d12s then you can even go up to the d20s and there's two different kinds of d20s you can use if you're familiar with magic there's spin down if you're familiar with uh, normal Warhammer 40k, or excuse me, normal D20s where the 1's here and the 20's here and the 15's over here and the 3's over here, then that's cool. The spin downs are great because they go in order. So that's great for keeping track of wounds, of course, uh, definitely. Then they have these point and turn counters that are also resin casts. You can paint these up. I think we have one here that's been painted up that we'll show you on the paint bench here in a second but it gives you all sorts of options you actually put the small 12 millimeter d6 in there and then last but certainly not least there's two different acrylic templates that have this one customized with the spiky bits logo spiky bits <laughs> uh it's a nine inch long template which you're probably like wtf what is nine inches don't <laughs> don't feel bad because i did the same thing i was like what the heck is nine inches and i started thinking about it i was like Oh, deep striking, right? Because you can't be more than nine inches in a lot of instances from your enemy's models. So that's perfect right there because who wants to measure out nine inches? And then of course you got all the other stuff, you know, coherency, you got your three inch disembark right here. You got your nine inches right here. You got your assault one inch. We all know how that works these days in eighth edition. Of course, it works great in Age of Sigmar as well. So three great products, like I said, custom logo ones, I think are 15 bucks. The normal, uh, regular Fear This Custom one are $10. Uh, let's go over to their website. It's, uh, I think it's F, what is it? F, <laughs> FT Customs with a K <laughs> dot com. Let's jump over there right now. Okay, here it is. It's FT Customs with a K dot com. You can see they've got a layout for their products talking about exactly how they all work and things like that. The big templates is also available in a 12 inch size. We got commissions and different things down here you can check out. But what I like is it's a very clean, concise website. You can see exactly what you're looking for right off the bat. Then you can go to a products page, add it to your cart and check out for it right here. There's the longer range template as well too. And then of course they have a couple of different uh, shipping options depending on what you want to do. So there's their actual site. Now let's see their products in use over on the paint patch. So the first product right here is the point in turn count. Now this is a painted version of it. You can see the spray right over top of it. Now these things are resin cast. I think they were made off of, I don't know, 3D master or something like that so you do need to you know wash them if you're gonna paint them but you can paint them any color as long as you seal it, it won't you know it won't chip up or anything like that more than more than normal as long as, long as you're you know kind of respectful with uh, the paint and everything and then all your small 12 millimeter dice go in here rounded edge square edge don't matter uh, I don't know if they make casino dice that small but they might and then you can just kind of put in victory points or whatever command points the game turn of course things like that and then just add it all together if it doesn't 
match, you know, what you could make combo wise off of D6, you can kind of like carry the remainder. Just read it like a book and you'll be fine. Uh, like I said, you can paint these up to match any of uh, your armies out there and things. And then here's the ubiquitous acrylic template here, the big one. This is the nine inch. There is a 12 inch one available as well. I think it's pretty cool. Of course, I might be a little biased. Spiky bits. <laughs> but uh, it's got all the it's got all the measurements you need. Not too shabby. Like I said, $10 if you get the normal fear this customs one or if you want a custom one with a uh, different a logo or anything like that or icon or something. Uh, I think you have to talk to them about how all that works, but $15, not not too shabby when it comes to templates and things. But it's got all those measurements you need, especially the 9-inch one. Now, I'd be careful. You can't exactly put this in a dice bag or anything, but you can definitely fit it in your army bag. Uh, use it on the tabletop there for some quick references. I like how it's cut out so you can clearly see and nice big numbers for us old people eyes. But <laughs> that you can see everything right from here and you put it down, your opponent can see it. When you measure with the tape measure, you know, I don't want to be like, hey, don't use the tape measure because tape measures are stupid, but tape measures have really small numbers sometimes, and it is hard to see on them, especially from across the table for your opponent, right? So, I mean, you know, it's just a word to the wise. Just, you know, try to always meet your opponent halfway when it comes to these things, and, uh, you know, so there's no feel badsies or anything like that, and I think a lot of these uh, tokens and, and wound markers and things definitely help out. And this is the larger... Speaking of wound markers, <laughs> this is the larger version of the wound marker. Now it's got all those divots right there. It's done for a reason. They hold a different size dice for D12s, D20s, the big D6, the small D6, and then D20. Of course, you can switch out with a spin down or not. So I think D20 is great for a lot of a lot of vehicles. You're probably like, hey, this is stupid. Why do I need this this little ring to hold my dice? I can just put a die next to it. Yes, you can. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. You forget, in the heat of battle, when you're rolling dice and you're doing all this stuff and you start picking up dice and rolling more dice, then all of a sudden wound markers disappear. Or say you just put down a D20, you bump it, and now you're like, uh-oh, I don't remember. Do I count up? Do I count down? Which way? Which one was it? I don't know anymore. I'm so confused. And that's happened to me, and I know if it's happened to me in the meager amount of games that I get to play, unfortunately, it's probably happened to y'all that might play a few more games than I do on a monthly basis right there. So like I said, holds the D20s, you can get the spin down, it holds the D12s, which are great for those intermediate size vehicles and such because, you know, some of them might start around 10 wounds or 12 wounds, uh, you know, but a lot of things have 12 wounds. So I think that's pretty good. Of course, it holds the small dice, small D6s, big D6s, good to go. And of course, you can paint them as well. Uh, you can tell it is 3D printed from a master. These might be 3D printed, I don't know. Some of them are resin, some of them aren't. It feels a little light to be resin, to be quite honest, but it's still tough. I mean, you know, you'd have a hard time like breaking this. It's not, it's not fragile or anything like that. These are very solid pieces too, not hollow in the middle. So I think for what you're getting, for helping you out on the tabletop, this is probably a really good product. And that's why I was definitely happy to review it uh, because these are things that I think you know, we see these issues happening on the tabletop and it helps, you know, keep all everybody honest and everybody having uh, a pretty good time there. So like I said, we'll put it down in the description. Fear This Custom uh, is ftcustoms.com. You can check out all of these great products over there on their site. Tell them we sent you. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.